Sup everybody, what's going on? I hope all of y'all Fubba Muckers are doing undeniably fan freaking tastic out there. I know why I am because tonight is AEW's Double or Nothing 2021 event. And this particular upload right here happens to be the first upload of SSP's sixth year. Yes, yesterday was the 29th. And yeah. That was SSP's 6th anniversary. So if you haven't seen the anniversary video yet, please, I highly recommend, even though it's over an hour long almost, even though I'm filming this right before I went to go edit the video, just, just go check it out. I, I'd really appreciate it if you go check that video out. Alright, so, yeah, um, today though, we're here to ramble about AEW's double or nothing. I'm not quite sure if that's what that means. No one knows what it means, but it's provocative. No, it's not. It's it gets well, the people it... going. But yeah, today I'm about to ramble about some of the matches happening tonight. Okay? Okay? All right, first up, we have Hangman Adam Page taking on Brian Cage. Look, Adam Adam Page, he, he needs this victory right now. All right, I know he's hanging out with the Dark Order, but he's not in Dark Order officially. And I don't think this um, rivalry between Team Taz and Dark Order is over just yet. I don't know. I don't think it should be over just yet. So, and plus I think last time these two faced off, Cage won the match. So, I think there needs to be a third match between these two. So, yeah, I I I'm going to go ahead and give this one to Adam Page. Alright, next up, the AEW Tag Team Championships are on the line as... The Young Bucks, Matt and Nick Jackson, defends against the team of Eddie Kingston and John Moxley. Young Bucks. Young Bucks all the way. They're not through. They're like on top of the world right now, being heels and teaming up with Kenny Omega and the Good Bros right now. Yeah, Young Bucks. That that tower wing's going to last a hot minute. And I'm sorry, but Eddie Kingston and John Moxley, they're not going to be the ones that take those belts. Sorry. And, I, and I'm almost guaranteeing it right now. Eddie Kingston is taking the pin. Yeah, Eddie Kingston is going to take the pin in this match. Alright, next up. Cody Rhodes takes on Anthony Ogogo. So, this is very different. This one's very different indeed. Because right now, Cody Rhodes, he's going into this match calling himself the American Dream. You know what, I, I think that um, even though Anthony Agogo is the one with that knockout punch, let's be honest, QT Marshall, he's the one that's leading that factory group now. So if Cody beat QT, I have a good feeling he's going to be beating Anthony. Yeah. Alright, moving on. Um, the AEW Women's Championship is on the line as Hikaru Shida defends against Dr. Britt Baker, DMD. Alright, she she's been holding on to that belt for a long time now. A long time now. I was honestly expecting her to drop that belt to Abaddon, but that didn't really go, go so well. But right now, because of that match that Britt Baker had with Thunder Rosa, Britt Baker has had a rocket strapped to her back. So, I think right now, Dr. Britt Baker has what it takes to be AEW's Charlotte in a way, but this match will be winning this first match here. Winning this match right here will be the first step in taking those steps. So, yeah, Dr. Brett Baker is probably going to win this match. I'm kind of looking forward to it. All right, next up, the team of Sting and Darby Allen take on Ethan Page and Scorpio Sky. Now, this is Sting's first actual in-ring debut. Not counting that cinematic street fight that he had back at Revolution. So, there's no way. Ain't no way Sting is going to make his WWE debut and lose against Triple H. Just to go to AEW, the land that professes to be a company better than WWE. Just to have Sting lose that match too. No. No. Ain't no way that's going to happen. Sting and Darby Allen's going to win this match for sure. I guarantee it. Our right, next up, the TNT Championship is on the line as Miro defends against Lance Archer. 
Man, this match, uh, this match right here. This match right here. This match right here. Man, th this is too early in Miro's reign to be doing this right now. It is. Like, I, I knew, like, I knew deep down that Lance Archer needed to push. He really did. And right now, Miro, he's, he just dropped that dead weight known as, um, uh, Kip Sabian. So now Miro's on his own. And right now, he's going to dominate Lance Archer. M Miro's going to, like, throw Lance Archer around that ring and, yeah, he's going to, he's going to retain that belt. He is, because eventually we need to see Kip Sabian versus Miro, and that belt, that TNT championship he's got, yeah, that will definitely uh, be good to like help out the storyline between these those two. Alright, next up is another Stadium Stampede match. Wow! Stadium Stampede 2. The Pinnacle takes on the Inner Circle. And if the inner circle lose, they must break up. Now you see, that's not fair to the pinnacle. No, that's not fair to the inner circle. If the inner circle lose, they break up. But if the pinnacle, if the pinnacle loses, then oh, oh, that's fine. They just lost. They just lost. But look, I remember the Stadium Stampede match from last year. That was insane. That was incredible. And COVID be damned, I freaking enjoyed that match. Okay? It made me forget everything about the virus long enough to just be sports entertained. I'm not sure if this match is going to be as good as last year, but wow. Wow. As far as who's winning this match goes, Man, like, all the stars are aligning for the inner circle to lose, and I'm hating it. I'm really gonna hate it. Because th there's, like, been a lot of uh, negative talk on my social media platforms about how AEW has had way too many factions going on. But so what? New Japan has factions, too. And if the inner circle lose this match, where is everybody gonna go? Where is everybody gonna go? Like, I can imagine at least one person in the inner circle turning hill and going to the pinnacle. Who could that be, though? Who could that be? I have no idea. I have no idea, but it might not be immediately. I know that. But l let's just say hypothetically speaking, okay? Maybe Hager can be... Teaming up, you know what? This is very confusing. I I, I got nothing for this. I, I don't. I'm trying to think of something, but I got nothing. I got nothing. So I'm really wanting Inner Circle to win, but I'm not gonna hold my breath there. Yeah. All right. And lastly, there is a triple threat match for the AEW World Championship as Kenny Omega defends against Orange Cassidy. And pack. Okay. Same thing as the Young Bucks. Kenny Omega is having way too much momentum on his side, especially being the Impact Champion and the Triple A Champion as well. And I, I know right now Kenny Omega he has that um match coming up with Moose at Slammiversary, and that that will be pretty awesome. Okay, I'm looking forward to that one, but. I kind of want Kenny Omega to win this match, specifically only so Moose can come out there and lay Kenny Omega out. That's what I'm hoping for. So, yeah, Kenny Omega wins, Moose comes out, lays Kenny down. There's my finish idea right there. So, yeah, guys, that's been all rambling about tonight's Double or Nothing matches. I hope you enjoyed the show happening tonight, and I hope you enjoyed this video as well. And... Yeah, until next time, make sure all of you remember that I am going live tomorrow, Memorial Day Monday, May 31st, at approximately 6 p.m. Eastern, so mark your calendars for that, that that'll be good.
And yeah, but also remember to be outrageously optimistic year-round. Booyah! I'm out.